percentage increase and decrease. Now what we're going to learn about today, we've actually learned methods to solve these in the past, but we're going to learn a technique that does it all in just one step. And it involves these two dot points. So we'll talk about them soon. You might notice the second dot point is one we've looked at before, percentage divide 100 times amount. Now what I'm going to do is I'll look at question A and I'll show you how to do it using the old method that we should understand by now. And the old method says use the formula percentage divide 100 and multiply this by the amount. Okay, so in this case you would go my percentage is 15, I'm going to divide that by 100 and my amount is $48. Now, if I do that, 15 divide 100 times 48, I get 7.2, or $7.20. The question is asking me to increase $48 by 15%, or increase $48 by $7.20. So, after you've done that, you then got to add on the $7.20 at the end giving us $55.20. Now, the technique we're going to learn about today involves skipping this last step and getting our solution in just one single step. And the way we do it is to do what it says in the first dot point, add or subtract the percentage by 100%. The reason we do this, if you think about it, the $48 technically represents 100% of the money you have or the money we are talking about. 100% meaning exactly what you've got. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the 100% and we're going to add on the 15%, which is what they're asking you to do. They're asking you to increase 100% of the amount by 15%, which gives us 115%. Then what you do is you use your formula. Percentage divide 100 times amount. Our percentage this time is not 15%, it's 115%. Divide 100 and my amount is the same as before 48. Now if you work this out you will get $55.20. You will get what we were looking for instead of the $7.20. The reason it works is because when you found 115% of something, the 100% took the original $48 and the extra 15% took the $7.20 and it just added it all together in one go. Alright, so let's look at question B, which is a little different. It's not increase, it's decrease, right? So last time you went 100% plus 15%, this time we're going 100% minus the percentage, which in this case is 30%. That will give us 70%. Alright, so we've decreased our amount by 30%. We're now going to find 70% of what it is. So, using the formula, percentage divide 100 times amount, we're going to go 70 divide 100 times the amount for of $198. And what will that give us? gives us $138.60. And we know we don't have to do any additional subtraction. We have decreased 198 by 